I think fame is a drug. I think it's a toxic drug. I, I would be willing to talk to the New England Journal of Medicine about fame. I'm serious, this isn't a joke. I think if you look at uh, people like Michael Jackson, they were little kids that were exposed to a massive amount of fame. And that happens over and over and over again. I was very fortunate. I came from a really strong background. I had a strong identity. I had a strong set of moral values. And then I didn't get bombarded until I was 30. And when I was 30, overnight, people started knowing who I was, following me on the street, asking me. They didn't have selfies then, but for signature or whatever. Uh, and, it get, and things getting weird. And I had the strength to be able to handle it. And when I would come home to my family, they would say, empty the dishwasher. And I would say, you can't talk to me that way. I'm, and then I would empty the dishwasher. And um, that is, I think, uh, been a, a, a huge value to me. Um, I think we've got a tricky thing that's happening right now where people can become very well known because of the internet at a very young age. And I think it's not gonna go well for a lot of those people. I just, I worry about very young people getting exposed to, we're supposed to have gravity act upon us. We're supposed to, that's what keeps us healthy. You know, I have this analogy that's, that I came up with once and I think it's actually valid, which is the, uh, they sent in the 60s, the Russians couldn't beat us in getting to the moon, or the 70s, but what they could, decided that they could beat us at is amount of time in space. So they would keep uh, Russian astronauts in space for like a year at a time, and then bring them, and they would land on the, on the Russian steps, not in the water, they would land there and they would take them out, and they were like jellyfish. And they would lay them on a chair, and they would do a news conference, and they couldn't move. And they were just jellyfish. And that's when people found out, scientists realized that we need gravity to stack the molecules in our bones. That's what actually gives us strength, is the gravity that, and when you take it away from us, we become freaks. I think that's what fame is. I really do, I'm not doing, I, I honestly believe that fame is removing gravity from people and allowing outrageous behavior. And, I, and if you're gonna see it a lot, you're gonna see it with some of your classmates who do well, who become famous or rich. I see rich people all the time, Gravity has been removed and they've become less than human. They're not nice, they, they're outrageous, they're ridiculous, and that's where you get these absurd people that are all over our culture right now that uh, behave crazily and then say insane things and tweet out insane things because nobody's around there, to, there's no gravity acting on them. It's actually not even their fault. So I think for me personally, I was very fortunate to come from the way, place I came from, and, and because I came from that, I chose a partner, my wife, who's like, you know, I've been married 14 years, I've known her 16 years, and she's just, you know, uh, that's great. That's great that you had that great day at work. Okay, now, we gotta talk about the parent-teacher conference tomorrow, you know? And it's not, oh my God, you got to, you know, uh, ride a bicycle with Ryan Gosling today? What, you know? Oh my God, she's just like, uh-huh, that's what you did at work, here's what I did at work, and now let's talk about the parent-teacher conference. And I keep saying, hey, Ryan Gosling. She's like, I don't care. Um, so, and I have kids, and I have, I'm in a real world where people get mad at me, people are disappointed in me, I have to apologize. I think that's the biggest element. Yeah.